Hey guys, Johnny Craft here. <clears throat> Just wanted to uh, make a nice little video for you guys that don't know how to import videos that you've downloaded or burned off of CDs, DVDs, whatever, um, onto your computer. Um, so here I'm going to be using this little video that I made up for my settings when I do a PRAM reset, which you know has nothing to do with this. But um, I'm going to show you guys how I figured out, because usually with longer videos, you, a shorter video like this, you can change stuff quickly, it uploads quickly, and you know, you can change the um, picture over the cover. So I mean, it's very easy to do. Just the problem is with longer videos. This is about a 10 minute video, so it shouldn't give me any problems. If it does, you will see what I'm talking about. If not, then um, I can at least explain what happens, which I'm assuming if you're watching this, you know, you kind of know it. But, um, so essentially what I'm going to want to do is once you open up your iTunes, you want to go to your movies section. And this is actually what I was having trouble with was uh, these two done videos I had loaded onto my computer um, from DVDs and I it would not let me um, import them to iTunes and uh, at least it would but it came up under home videos which I can show you how to change that but then um, it wouldn't let me change details and stuff it would just lag out iTunes and then I would have to close it up and then reopen it and nothing would be there so I'm gonna show you how to do this so first um, after you go into movies, you're gonna either go up to your top little thingy, you're gonna hit file and hit add to library, or you can use the shortcut command O. If you're on Windows, I assume it's control O. Um, don't quote me on that, but that's probably what it is. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and click on my video, click on whatever video you're wanting to upload or import, whatever. iTunes and click open. And then it's going to say it's copying it in. And it'll appear now you have little home videos thing tab on the side. And then you also have one up top. So you're going to go into there. And I always mark it as watched because I hate that little new thingy. But so essentially what you're going to want to do is uh, right click on it. And hit get info. And um, you can change director. You can change the genre. You can change the year. So I'll put 2014. Um, Craft Gaming is the director. And yes, it's very laggy, but that's just um, recording and stuff for messing and stuff. It's 11 minutes, whatever. Um, you can change the rating, so I can make it five because my directing is awesome. Um, and then here's where you want to change it before you do anything with the artwork. You want to go to options and change the media kind to movie. So now when you do this, it will usually bring up your little beach ball of death and spin on the screen. So I don't know if it'll do that for a shorter video, but I can promise you it always does that for the bigger ones. Okay, so it didn't. But um when you do hour and nine minutes so anything probably but if you try to import something that th that's that long it will bring up your little beach ball of death spinning thingy and you'll think that iTunes is lagged out um, if you go over here you right click on it it'll tell you that it's uh, up in the top it'll none of this will be here it'll just come up to options I think is the last thing and then directly above that it will say um, application not responding so you do what you, you know besides what you would think you do not want to ex exit out of iTunes it says it's not responding but really it's just taking a while since it's such a big file to move it and it has to change all the coding and everything down in your life I actually don't have a, a uh, artwork for this so I'm gonna go ahead and get some artwork and I will be right back Okay guys, I'm back. So um, as you can see, I got a little artwork here, and it's uh, the Jobs movie artwork. Just because it's a pretty good movie, so I don't know. Maybe you happen to be importing that. So what you're going to do is, again, right-click on the uh, video you have in movies, and get info. And 
time that pops up after the little beach ball spins. You're gonna go over to artwork and hit add artwork. And I assume you know how to do this, but if you don't, I'm still gonna go with it just because I want it to look really cool. So um, I have mine on my desktop. You need to, you know, whatever, find yours. You can search up here if you don't know where the file's at. So, uh, and there you go. And so again, with change the artwork at the same time it will also if it's a large file it will take a while don't be alarmed it is normal you know don't close the program it is working in the background just you know every once in a while um, every five ten minutes or so back and check it to make sure you know yeah the application hasn't completely shut itself down because that actually can happen it doesn't happen often but I've seen it happen several times so you know, if it happens, then I would say delete the video um, that you imported and retry. If that keeps happening, um, definitely leave a comment below. I, I will be more than happy to help you guys out with any problems you may have. So, uh, I don't really want this in my library, so I'm going to delete it, but you, know, you definitely want to leave it there. Um, so, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this nice little tutorial. And I will see you in the next video.